CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 56 through 60. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 56. In a client-side virtualization setup, what is the essential security feature that prevents activities or compromises on one virtual machine from impacting the others? The answer is A. Isolation. Isolation and client-side virtualization is a security feature that creates secure boundaries between virtual machines, ensuring that they operate in separate, contained environments. This way, if one VM encounters issues like malware or operational failures, these problems cannot spill over or interfere with the functioning of other VM, thereby preserving the overall system's integrity and reducing downtime or the risk of data compromise. Question 57. When a smartphone is connected to a laptop for internet sharing or file transfers, what type of network is typically formed between these two devices? The answer is A, PAN. A personal area network is a network arrangement for interconnecting devices centered around an individual person's workspace. When a smartphone is connected to a laptop, it creates a PAN, allowing for internet sharing, file transfers, and other direct communication between these two devices. This setup is typically used for personal purposes and involves a limited range, usually within a few meters. Question 58. What method would be most effective for an organization looking to reduce the influx of similarly contented spam emails originating from multiple domains The answer is A. Update the keyword filtering for the spam gateway. Updating the keyword filtering for the spam gateway is an effective measure because it allows the system to identify and block emails based on specific words or phrases common in spam messages. Since the spam emails share similar content, the filter can detect and prevent them from reaching users' inboxes regardless of the changing domains they are sent from thus mitigating the issue without relying on domain blacklisting. Question 59. In an office setting, multiple individuals have encountered an issue with a shared laser printer, which is consistently producing pages with vertical streaks spanning top to bottom. What action should a technician take first to address and potentially rectify this printing problem? The answer is D. Clean the drum. The presence of vertical streaks on printed documents from a laser printer often indicates a problem with the drum unit, which is a core component in the printing process. The drum is charged to attract toner powder to paper, but if it's dirty or damaged, it can cause streaks. Cleaning the drum unit removes any accumulated toner or debris. Question 60. In a data center, to prevent downtime and ensure that customer virtual machines remain operational during power outages, which hardware device should be installed? The answer is C, uninterruptible power supply. An uninterruptible power supply, UPS, is essential in a data center for maintaining the operational continuity of virtual machines during power interruptions. It provides emergency power when the input power source fails, ensuring no immediate disruption to the equipment, which is crucial for customer virtual machines that require constant availability. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button.
This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.